Hey everybody, it's Ben here and it is late at night and it is like 90 degrees, which is crazy because it's not supposed to be 90 degrees in May in southeastern Wisconsin. We went straight from winter to August. Uh, it's been a long week. I'm tired, I'm hot, but I got something done. Uh, one of the projects that I've been wanting to get back to working on as soon as I had any time was the DIY vehicle to grid project. I actually don't have much um, wall space in my garage and I also want to show off this project. So instead of mounting the inverter to the wall, what I've instead done is I built a wall. Uh, so we've got the inverter mounted up here on a piece of plywood on some studs, but the entire thing is actually built on a kind of a cart. It's a, sort of a base that I had, which already had some heavy-duty casters on it. Uh, so I put four studs up there, a little cross bracing, uh, ran out of wood, which is crazy expensive right now, by the way. Um, so I'll need to add some more bracing, but it is sturdy and square, and I've got the inverter on there, and... Uh, my Chatamo connection, and now I can actually work on this thing, start putting in uh, the fuses, the pre-charge. Uh, I've got some of those components from uh, a Nissan Leaf. So this is all, uh, you know, high voltage, high current rated, uh, which is perfect. Even got a pre-charge resistor, which I'm going to want, because since I'm not using solar panels, I'm instead using uh, the battery from my uh, Mitsubishi Aimee of electric car, so I want to take care of the inrush current. Uh, when I put the panel back on here, it also has built in a DC disconnect and an AC bypass. And what I'm planning on doing right now is putting a 30 amp, 240 volt twist lock as the output on here. And then I can just plug in a little adapter that runs to a couple of uh, 120 volt outlets. But alternatively, I can use that same output, run a 30 amp input over into uh, the circuit panel here, and then I'll have to rig it up so that um, turning on the power there turns off the main breaker so we don't have any anti-islanding issues. But then in theory, I should be able to take a little old, you know, 10 year old used electric car, run it through an inverter and actually power my entire house off of it, which would be very, very exciting, and I'm hoping to get that all working and uh, show it off at some events coming soon. But in the meanwhile, whoo, uh, I gotta go get charged up. See you next time.